Both teams looking strong throughout the season. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Isaac Kramers, joined by Jack Hazlett, John McGlashan College. Well, this, isn't this going to be a good game? Yeah, great game in the stadium. Great opportunity for these fellas. As Dunstan are preparing to do their haka. A few cap boys there, putting them on halfway. Uh, we'll talk about some key components in this team, in this dancing team. Who do you think? Um, I think Sam Chapman on number eight. He'll carry hard all day. Sam, Sammy White at press five. He's got a great cap. Here's the hucker for Dunstan.
just in for a good one here today, aren't we? Plenty of passion and emotion displayed there in those hackers. It's going to be a goodie. Some people to look out for for Waitaki boys today. Lotu Fafita at number eight. Been strong all season. Caden McGregor Hoffman also been very strong. And I would say another one would be Simone Tongi Val, number 14. Look out for him today. Big occasion for these two schools. As we're about to get set underway. The team list for Dunstan High School. Cody Robinson, Charlie Shaw, Jamie Hill, Raph Love, Troy Sharman, Riley Allen, Josh Smith, Sam Chapman, Ryan O'Neill, Sam Waitower, Riley Park on the left wing, Cyrus Hutchinson, Tom Michelle, Kobe Pope and Xavier Liddell at fullback. Clearance coming here, Samuel Waitower. It's a good one, but it's not out. Infield to Lotu. Big, strong carry. Tackled by Sam Chapman and Tom Michelle. Ball here for the halfback. Carries back inside. He's on that one, though. Josh Great Smith there. over the ball. Well, Promising Wait sides from the captain in the early stages of this game. Waitaki just weren't there quick enough, were they? Starting lineup for Waitaki boys today. Olive Willie, Grayford Vaipulu, Sione Lear, Jake Roney, Didrick Van Basten, Latrell Shalford, Lockie Maver, Lotu Fafita, Alex Wilson, Caden McGregor Hoffman, Antonio Vial, Tyree Manaya, Terrace Bidsmore, Simone Tongi Val, and Harrison Weir, Weir at the back. Throw here for Dunstan High School. Charlie Shaw to feed the line out, about 30 metres out. Attacking. Good take there. Gives the ball to Ryan O'Neill. Pass on to Sam Waitoa. Dummy cut. Hits Tom Michelle short. Tries to float it to Sam Waitoa. Ford though. Bit force there. Do you not agree, Isaac? Yeah, a wee bit there. Just played a wee bit safe. I reckon built some phases in these early in these early stages. Plenty of nerves though for these boys in the big stadium. So it's expected a few mistakes early on. Yeah. Samuel Waitoa showing his class early on as well. Dummy cut. Midfield scrum here. Alex Wilson to feed. Big scrum here. Lotu, Lotu for feet off the back. Very strong carry there. Taken eventually by Sam Chapman. Go back on the blind side. I back blind. Quick ball there for the half back. Steps back inside. Slow ball coming out here. Not a bad carry, but good tackle also. Into the hands of the number 13. Offload. That was a great offload there. Strong carry. Oh, and he's put foot in touch there. Unlucky. Great work from Terrace Beardsmore. Freeing the arms. Yeah. Putting Link his outside away. Linking up with... Um, it was Antonio, Antonio Vial there on that left wing side. Promising start for Waitaki. Charlie Shaw with the throw. Stolen by Waitaki though. Ball goes into the hands of the 15 there. Good run there by the 13. Terrace Bidsmore and also Captain Caden Hoffman. Strong carry there. Ball slow for the nine. Good carry there by the six. Latrell Shawford, uh, Shalford. Into the hands of the 13. Long ball. All the way out to Antonio Vial. Well contained by Kobe Pope. Good ball chop spreads there. out. Josh Smith has got it. Dunson in position of the ball in their own half. Here's Troy Sharman, carrying hard. Jamie Hill with the carry. 
Gary across the field there, looking to get some straight runners going. Ball's very slow here for the nine. Ooh, skip pull out here. Got some space on this far edge. Ooh, Ooh. striped him off. That 12 doesn't look, he got up pretty fast, but he didn't look too good. Here's Jamie Hill off the pod off Samuel Waitawa. Ryan O'Neill goes short side to size Hutchinson. Looking to find some space there, but well contained by Harrison Weir. Under advantage here, not rolling away. We pick and go up this blind side here. Cody Robinson has a wee dart. Ryan O'Neill with the ball. Feeds Sammy Waitoa, who challenges the line and gives Ooh. it to Sam Waitoa. But the defence was right there. Another big hit by Tyree Manaya. White Saki boy is showing their guns early, making a couple of dominant tackles there. But lucky for Dunstan, they were under advantage. And they'll have a penalty kick on their defensive 10 metre line. Looking to get some metres here. Good contest early on. Yeah, it has been. Not a bad kick into touch there. Not much angle to work with. Dunstan are about 45 out with an attacking throw through Charlie Shaw. Ball to come in here. Four man line out. Finds a target. I'll take him. Sammy Waita with the ball. Gives it to Cyrus Hutchinson. Ooh. Hurts Troy Sharman on the short ball. Bit of confusion there. Running in behind this man. Sammy Waita to go again. Distributes to Sam Chapman. Carries hard over the game line. Gets on the outside of the defense here. Troy Sharman carries again. Quick ball here for the nine. Xavier Liddell. Gets well contained by the Waitaki defence. Ryan O'Neill again. Feeds to Cody Robinson. Good chop tackle there by Dedrick. Penalty there for Dunstan though. He's diving in. Was the Waitaki number seven, Lockie Maver. Off his feet there, I think. And another penalty. Sammy Waitaki will look to chew off a few more metres again. Got a bit more of an angle this time. Not a bad kick there either. But just outside the 22 is Dunstan High School. They're holding the ball pretty well here, Dunstan. Looking to build some phases. Full man line up, line out. Taken well. Ryan O'Neill feeds to Samuel Wata. Gives it to Cyrus Hutchinson out the back door. He finds a lovely there. ball for the right winger. Ooh. Trying to free the arms. Ball slapped down. Dunstan and still in possession of the ball. Ball's there for the nine. Semi Waito again. Sticks his hand up to carry. Gets over the gain line. Goes again through the double action. He's Goes out the, the middle. Gives it to Cody Robertson. They're about one metre out as Dunstan High School. Ron Ooh. O'Neill demanding the ball, but it's been Not knocked gone. on in the process. Well, we've seen Dunson build a couple of phases earlier and they look like they were going to score there. Sam Chapman with the break up the middle of the field. Dunson under, uh, under a bit of pressure pretty early here, don't you reckon? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, Waitaki boys there. Yep. No, Dunson uh, put them under the pump, testing out the defence early on, which has held up pretty good for the most part. We're seven minutes in, still nil Alex Wilson to feed the scrum on their own defensive five metre line. Lots of feeds it. Oh, he's going for the kick here. Nice we move there. Yeah, not a bad one there. Alex Wilson clears off the back of the scrum and he finds touch about 23 metres out. Yeah, the wee half back there was under a bit of a uh, bit of pressure there, wasn't he? Yep. Not a bad clearance. Charlie Shaw again. Another line out though. Well taken by Dunson again. Bit of a sloppy ball there at the back for Ryan O'Neill. And the seven's on it. Lockie, M Lockie Mather. Still there. It's first of the ball. A scrappy ball for the halfback off the line out. And unfortunately, 
Dunstan boys didn't react fast enough, which has resulted in the penalty for Waitaki boys to relieve some early pressure. Terrace Bedmore here, he's looking for touch. And finds it. On halfway here, Waitaki boys ball. Vaipulu to throw. Well taken in. Alex Wilson. Pass to Caden. Short ball there. Great carry there by Ty Reedman Meyer. Oh, ball's on the ground there. Terrace. Frees the arms to the fullback. Chose off a few more metres, but he's tackled well by Tom Michelle. Halfback's looking to clear here. Not a bad carry there. Refs told them to leave it. Dunstan failed to Good do so, there. which is... No, the refs called it back. Not quite on the mark. There's a penalty there for Waitaki, though. 40 metres out. Getting a touch here. Terrace Bedmore. Not a bad kick either. About 15 metres out. Good first attacking opportunity for Waitaki boys in this game. Yeah, 100%. First time into the 22 here. Let's see what they've got. Vipulu to throw. Got a confusion out, out, out at line-out time there. Josh Smith has stolen it, so Dunstan have got the ball. Looking to clear the ball here. Samuel Whitehall looks like he's in the pocket. Oh, but the ball's been turned over here. Five pull will carry strong up the field. Alex Wilson to clear. Don't know how the ball's popped out there, but play continues. No, it's not. Stop there. Gone. Whitehall's ball. They'll have a scrum around the 22. Jack McLaughlin is our referee today. He's an old boy from John McGlashan College. So we see Simone, the number 14 here, sitting in behind the 10, Caden Hoffman. It's going to be interesting. We know how dangerous he is, don't we, Isaac? Yeah, we do. Strong ball carrier. Only year 11 or 12, I think, at the school. Got a bright future ahead of him. Ball comes out here for Waitaki. Oh, there's a big hole here. He's gone through it. Looks offload. He offloads it to the man we were just talking about. Simeone Tongvalu is under the sticks. Look at that. Off a lovely half break from Terrace Bensmore. He's always looking to free the arms. And there was the right winger on his shoulder who's under the sticks. What a move from Waitaki. Yeah, we know just how dangerous he is, don't we? Terrace Bedsmore that was. Conversion here by, uh, conversion to come here by Alex Wilson. And now is it. Waitaki boys seven, Dunson no. 13 minutes gone in the opening half of this game. Waitaki converts off their first real attacking opportunity in this game. Samuel Waitau will kick off for Dunstan High School. Looking to go right here off kickoff. Not a bad restart there. Taken in by the seven. Waitaki boys looking to clear here. Looking for a box kick. Alex Wilson. Goes as far as Xavier Liddell. Doesn't find touch there. 
But Samuel Watto in the midfield. It's always dangerous. Good feet Gives there. it to Cyrus Hutchinson. Bit of space on this near side. Good footwork there by the 11. Riley Park takes it in. Ball still in position for Dunstan. Ryan O'Neill gives it to Sam Watto. He's chopping hard and they've got the advantage. Go short side. No, they don't. They choose to go open from Sam Watto. Spots oh, a half hole. It's taken high though, so they'll get an advantage. New advantage here. Ryan O'Neill to Sam Watto again. Good carry there by the wee half bat. Riley yeah. Park clears from the back of the ruck to Sam Chapman. Offloads on the inside to Jamie Hill. Ryan O'Neill looking to clear here again. Cyrus Hutchinson carries. Dunst at about 10 metres out here. Sam Chapman again on the inside to Troy Sharman. We've seen quite a lot of inside balls, haven't we? Yes, and Troy Sharman is getting very close here. What a drive. Sam Chapman's picking and going. Ball still available there for the nine. Ryan O'Neill demanding it. Gives it to Sam Waito. They're in the back. Save Liddell. Space out hands. wide. Hands here. There's a forward. Oh, oh yes, did he knock it on it over the line? The hooker, I think it was, Charlie Shaw, was in for all money. Went for the old Rico Ioani diver look like there. Yeah. Touches and wrestle discuss this. In my opinion, I did think that was a knock on. Full pass. Full pass is the call. A big miss opportunity there for Dunstan High School. They did have a bit of space on that far edge though, didn't they? Yes, plenty of space there. Just the last pass. Scrum down here. About seven metres off their own line. Waitaki will look to crash and clear through Tyree Manaya. The nine's gone back, Lotu Fafita. Oh, he's good footwork there. Under quite a bit of pressure there, isn't it? They went to that same scrum move again. And Alex Wilson has found touch, but not as much as he'd like. So Dunstan with the attacking line out about 15 metres out. So we see the nine drop there into a position, a kicking position, and get the eight to hit him out the back, but there's quite a bit of pressure, I'd say. Yep, plenty of pressure there. Dunstan flankers have caught on to that move pretty quickly. Here's Charlie Shaw. Finds Josh Smith. Off the top ball here. Samuel Waito with the ball. Hits Cyrus Hutchison. Out the back. Out the back. Tom oh, ball. On the inside to Kobe Pope. Who gives it to Tom Shell. Looking to free his arms there. Ryan O'Neill is looking open with Sam Chapman there. Ryan O'Neill looking to clear from the base here. Finds Cyrus Hutchison. Carries hard. Ball, I think, has came out on the dun on the Waitaki side, and it has. Alex Wilson looking to clear here. Not a bad box He's kick. Box kick very well. Not out there. As far as Sam Chapman, who's about on the 10-metre line, gives it in field to Xavier Liddell. Good footwork there. Space on the right edge. Bit of confusion there. Right Troy Sharman offloads Ooh. it to Sam Chapman, who's always running hard. Good offload. Oh, that's slapped down, I think, by the, uh, by the winger. From White taking there's still Good an opportunity space, here. Riley Park takes it up to the five metre line. We see uh, Cyrus Hutchinson down actually. Doesn't Josh Smith is well contained on the five metre line for Dunstan. It Sam Waito feeds Tom Michelle. Cyrus Hutchinson is down in the backfield. Josh Smith carries. Unable to make any metres though. Solid defence from Waitaki. Right, no need to clear here. Under advantage here. Good footwork there by Samuel Waitoa. He's always taking the ball to the line, challenging the defence. Out the back. Sam Chapman again gives it to Tom Michelle. Opted for a kick, chose not to. Bit isolated, but the support comes in the end. Dunstan building some phases here. Jamie Hill carries. Sam Waito wants the ball. Cross kick off the left foot. Not a bad option. Anyone's ball here, but the winger takes it. We'll come back for the advantage though. Offside was the call from Waitaki, who defended reasonably well in that passage of play. Yeah, they did, didn't they? 
Um, Dunstan actually built quite a bit of phases, I'd say. So, um, Dunstan put Waisaki under a bit of pressure there, but they held them out. They can go for the shot, though. Sam Waita, being the good kicker he is, will look for the shot quite frequently during this game, I'd say. Cyrus Hutchinson, still down in the background, getting a look at by the physio. Hopefully he's okay, because he is a good attacking threat for Dunstan. Looks to be his knee there. Just missed it to the left there. Score remains 7-0. 20 minutes gone here. Sam Waitau will be difficult with that. Ah, but upset with that one. Well, they were looking for the short kickoff there. Chosen to go long there. Good kick there by Terrace. Goes long to Kobe Pope. Carries it in. Good chase line from Waitaki though. He's restricting him of metres. Ryan O'Neill with the ball at the back. Looking to box kick. Does so. Gets no the ball chasing down. on that left side there either. Gets the ball down inside the Waitaki 22. Calls the mark. Mm, bit late there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was a late call. Terrace speeds where it was. He's going to get Waisaki boys just in behind him, so he's got a bit of a chase line here. Finds touch. Good kick there. Just past the 50. Dunstan's throw. Here's Charlie Shaw, just on his side of halfway. We'll look to find Josh Smith, I'd say. Who's the main line out man? Oh, oh, one. I think the hooker's knocked it on there. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Waitaki initially secured the ball, but then they knocked it on just after the line out. So it'll be dunced and scrum. So we've got a score update here from the second 15 game Kings High School second 15 v John McGlashan second 15. I've heard some news that John McGlashan have won by one point. Scrum reset. Twenty-two minutes gone in the opening half. Score remains, Waitaki 7, Dunstan 0. Ryan O'Neill to feed the scrum. The winger setting him behind first five there, looks to go out the back. Ball gets to the winger's hands. Tries to get past him, but can't beat the defender. Riley Park unable to beat the defender. So, Sam Chapman gets sloppy ball from the halfback. Good pick up, though. Dunstan's still in their own half here. Troy Sharman gets the ball outside Samuel Waitoa. Sam Waitoa in the pocket. They don't use him. They find Sam Chapman, who knocks Ooh. it on. That's tough for Dunstan. Possibly should have looked clear there. 100%. Dunson just looked to build some phases there, but just a wee error there that's we would have an upset, but that's alright. Waitaki ball. Scrum 40 out. Alex Wilson to feed.
Interesting set up here from Wasaki Boys. Oh, lots of feet is going to go blind. Offload. Great hands and the wingers set into space. He's got the Great pace. covering tackle Ooh. by Sam Chapman. And the touch has put off his flag. Awesome work from the Dunstan High School number eight to get off that scrum, get out, and stop Tonga Valu. Yeah, we've seen his pace, haven't we? Yeah, very fast. It's looking a bit dangerous on that, on that edge. Charlie Short to throw. Oh, Waitaki has got the ball though. Bit of space on that far left. Tara Speeds will skip passes, possibly forward. Oh, he's away. The right winger for Dunstan has got the ball, hacks it downfield. Foot race is on here. Xavier Liddell coming through. Caden Hoffman well taken. Well taken there. Oh, that was close. Waitaki boys are making their way in behind. Scrambling behind. Box kick coming here. Ooh. half pick boxing. Not a great one, but down to Sammy Waitau who will look to counter attack. He's got some good speed. Looks left to Riley Park who has a man outside him. Ops not to Ooh. use him. That's a high tackle. And they'll take the penalty. Referee's blowing his whistle instantly there. Sammy Waitau will look for the corner. Good kick to touch there by Sammy Waitau. Around about 20 metres off the, off the, li off the line. Ooh, misjudged it at line out time. Charlie Shaw throw into Josh Smith. Hacked it back. Tricky ball for Ryan O'Neill. Eventually gets it away to Sammy Waito. Oh, Troy well, Sharman just secures that ball. Bubbled it a bit in his hands. Ball coming to the number Josh seven. Josh Smith Ooh. carrying another high, high shot in. from Waitaki Boys. So here's Dunson again. Under advantage here. Sam Chapman out the back door to Xavier Liddell. Dummies and goes himself. Still under advantage. Ryan O'Neill feeds Troy Sharman. Dunstan not really going anywhere. Driving tackle backwards. Cody Robertson carries hard. Ryan O'Neill looking to clear here. Good footwork there by the seven. Ooh. Forward pass. So they'll come back Double to the penalty. Double blow here. It could be in trouble by Tacky. There was a couple consecutive... High shots. Quite early on in the game here, the refs had to double blow his whistle. Only 26 minutes in. Sam Waitau with the ball, chooses to take the shot. Dunson looking to get some points on the board here. Kobe Pope is down in the background receiving some attention from the physio, clutching his arm. Hopefully he's alright. He's been working hard on it, out on that wing. Yeah, we've seen him get a couple of breaks there, haven't we? Great day to be back today in the stadium. Dry running ground, fast. Plenty of opportunities. Sam Waitoa lines up about 30 metres out on the 15 metre angle. Looking to draw it back around. Doesn't mm. happen for him. Unlucky there. Sammy Waitau struggling with the boot, which is uncharacteristic of him early on in this game. Yeah, he's missed two early on here. Hopefully he can find the next one. Terrace Beards more take 22 drop out for Waitaki and relieve some of the pressure. It does so. 
All the way down to the winger there. Kobe Pope with the ball. Gives it infield to Xavier Liddell. Not a great pass. It's over his head, but Xavier eventually controls it. Offloads it to Cyrus Hutchinson, who tries to get out to on the man. Mm. Offloads it. Oh, unfortunate for Dunstan. They've been pushed out over touch. Raph Love could not quite get inside. The strong Waitaki boys dealt to that. Yeah, Dunstan looking for some offloads, aren't they? Yes, Just they trying are. Trying to get out on the outside of Waitaki boys. Why well, take your ball with the line out? He's got the ball at the base. Gives it to Caden. Short ball there to the hooker. Oh, he saw a gap. Good league drive there. Taken eventually by Riley Allen. Alex Wilson to clear here. Goes back the same way. Good footwork there by the 10. Oh, they've got the penalty here, Dunstan. I think that's Riley Allen who's over that. He's been good this first half, hasn't oh, he? Oh, no, it might be Sam Chapman. Oh, they've got another penalty here for talking back. They've been marched by Tacky. They just need to calm down and keep their heads here. Yeah, a couple of penalties early on here, haven't they? Yeah, they seen. haven't. They, they have struggled with discipline during this game so far. So, hopefully for them, they can reduce the amount of pen penalties they're giving away because it's putting them under pressure. Samuel Wa Samuel Whitehall putting into touch here. About 15 meters out. Charlie Shaw with the throw in. Good attacking opportunity for Dunstan High School with five minutes left in this half. Goes up. Knocked on by Waitaki. Ryan O'Neill with the ball, gives it the same chip. Ah, uh, Waita, but they'll come back for the initial knock on. So it's going to be a Dunstan feed here. Again, we see the winger, Kobe Pope, stacked in behind Samuel Whitehall here. Good opportunity for the Dunstan backs here. Bulls comes in. Solid scrum. Bulls there for Ryan O'Neill. That's the 12. Out the back Samuel Whitehall out the back. Oh, Goes himself, he dummies, and he's away in the corner. Oh, yeah. What a move. The hole opened up for him and he did not hesitate. Pin the ears back and he's in the corner. Yeah, we talked about him right from the start, didn't we? He's a classy player. What a move. The wraparound Waitaki boys did not expect it. And it's going to cost them five points here. Kick to come here. Sam Waito is about three metres off the touchline, so his hardest kick of the day. It's been fairly a fairly even contest so far in this game, do you agree, Isaac? Yeah, exactly right. Dunstan have been building some phases pretty early on. And staff Waitaki boys of the ball, really. Sammy Waitaki to kick. Looks good. Straight down the middle. Look at that. That's more like him. 7 all with three minutes left in this half. Waitaki boys to kick off here. They sit up right. Kick off here from Terrace. Puts it high. Goes high to Josh Smith, who's under all sorts of pressure. White oh, ball bounces up perfectly. 
Watch for that oh. ball. Unfortunately, Josh Smith could not control the ball. Play on here, though. Numbers out wide for Waitaki. Good footwork there by Harrison Moore. Ball slow, Caden. Tackled well by Tua Sharman. Looks like they're under a bit of a. Uh, the, looks like they're under advantage here. Oh, looks for the grubber kick. Ball pops up for Lotto. Hard man to put down. Great tackle there. Sam Chapman is up to the task though. Good defense here by Wata, uh, by Dunson. Come back for the penalty though. Waitaki's ball. 30 metres out. What do you reckon they'll go for the shot here or go for the corner? I think they should back themselves. But I think they should go for the shot also as well. They have called the shot with 40 seconds left in this half. Yeah, I think they need to go into half time leading. Yeah, as much as I want, wanted them to go to the corner, I think the best option was to go for the posts. I agree. So Alex Wilson to line up for this penalty kick. Only about 15 seconds remaining here in this half. Struck it well. Oh, and he's nailed it. Beautiful kick there by Alex Wilson. And that'll be the half. Waitaki go in, leading 10 points to 7 over Dunstan High School. Very even first half. Yeah, 100%. I think Dunstan have held the ball pretty well. Um, Waitaki boys, though, they've capitalised on the opportunities. Just about got just about every single one. So, good to see. I think a big talking point for Waitaki in this huddle will be about their discipline. And not giving away too many penalties because that is leading Dunstan in the game. Yeah, and I don't quite know what the coaches are thinking here for um, Dunstan, but they've been looking for quite a bit of offloads. So I don't know if the call will be here just to hold on to the ball and build a little bit more phases, but we'll soon find out. We'll take a break, and we hope that you join us after a short break for the second half of this big game. Garador Dunedin, delivering quality, stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 17 years. New doors, replacement doors and maintenance are all part of Garador's quality service. Garador Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team. I'm uh, Fred Doherty from Fred's Fencing, based in Outram, uh, just out of Dunedin. And uh, this is just an example of the type of product I do. I, I sell uh, cattle yards uh, as well, but this is just an example of a, of a uh, use that you can use for my standard panels. Uh, horse round pens, I've had a lot of these sold all over the South Island and some into the North Island. And as you can see by the setup video, how, uh, how simple it is to set them up. Uh, they're very, very versatile, uh, they're lightweight but strong, certainly strong enough for, for, uh, for horses like a breaking in pen like what you see here. Uh, you don't need any posts to support them, it's completely self-supporting and there's no way that you'd knock that over. The beauty of it is you can make them any size you want because you haven't got posts in the ground, you can make them any size you like and you can adjust it. So if you were working with a certain horse and you wanted a smaller pen, you could just unpin it, take a few panels out and shorten it up to make a smaller pen. So, uh, this is typically a size, this is about a 14 metre round pen. Uh, most of the pens I sell are somewhere between 14 metres and 18 metres, which would take uh, this pen here is 20 panels and a gate. Uh, an 18 metre pen is 26 panels and a gate. But you can, uh, the choice is yours, I have made them bigger, I have made them smaller. And uh, the beauty of this is that you can pack this up in the winter when you're not using it, say, or you pack it up, you can mow the paddock, you can shift it to another part of your property, you can shift it to another property, you can use it for uh, pens, uh, you know, in the winter time in a shed or something, and 
As you can see, we've just got a, a one swing gate on this pen. Uh, you could have one on the other side if you wanted to as well. As I said, the choice is yours. The, the swing gate is exactly the same size as a panel, so you could shift it over without having to shift your whole pen. You could swap it out with a panel on the other side if you wanted access over there and put the panel back in the gate. It's 2.2 metres clear. Trouble going underneath that. And uh, slam catch on it, as you can see. Everything's all hot dip galvanised. Well, I'm uh, e easy to get hold of on the phone. I'm uh, no problem to give me a ring. I'm only too happy to have a chat with you to uh, to talk you through the, the process of, of what you need or, or if you've got any questions for me. So um, and that's just fredsfencing.co.nz. Uh, you can pick up what you need uh, from my place at Outram, or I can arrange delivery. Uh, as you can see, I can just put a round pen on my Ute trailer. I'm uh, always keen to go for a bit of a drive somewhere, so for um, a little bit extra I can deliver it to your place and uh, help you set it up just like this. So check out my website, give us a ring and uh, we'll take it from there. So very, very versatile, uh, very cost effective, simple to set up and everyone should have one. the day when we had to import some uh, steel cattle yards for our local rodeo club and I saw an opportunity there I mean, everyone thought they were really good value and well made basically once you get started you can make them into any configuration you like they're very 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 cost effective freight is no issue we can deliver them right to your farm uh, right to your site that in a nutshell is what Fred's fencing it feel free to ring me at any time and I'm just only too happy to have a chat with you Garador Dunedin, delivering quality, stylish garage doors in Dunedin for over 17 years. New doors, replacement doors and maintenance are all part of Garador's quality service. Garador Dunedin offers a full range of modern quality doors to suit any home. Come visit the team. Fred's Fencer got started back in the day when we had to import some uh, steel cattle yards for our local rodeo club and I saw an opportunity there. I mean, everyone thought they were really good value and well made. Basically once you get started you can make them into any configuration you like. They're very, very, very cost effective. Freight is no issue. We can deliver them right to your farm, uh, right to your site. That in a nutshell is what Fred's fencing it. Feel free to ring me at any time and I'm just only too happy to have a chat with you. for the game between Dunstan and Waitaki. Waitaki are up 10, Dunstan 7. Be an interesting second half. Yeah, the sun's shining on the glass house, isn't it? It's a great day for footy. Not many excuses today. Nah, not at all. Sam Waitaki will kick off for Dunstan. With a split formation. Just keep keeping Waitaki on their toes. Goes left here. Short kick off. Sam Chapman up in the air. Takes, Takes it well. Takes it well. What, uh, Dunstan's ball. About 30 metres out. Gets on the outside of the defence. Still looking to offload. Ooh, Josh Smith drops one. can't catch the ball. He's got some pace up here. Just get through the hands. Antonio Vial. Beautiful inside, inside ball. ball. Another one there. Need to hold on to it here now. Ooh. Just one too many, yeah. unfortunately, for Waitaki. Good ambitious play, though. Box kick here, looks like it. Samuel Waitoa. Samuel Waitoa, yeah. the first, first five. five. Out, on the, out on the full. The halfback, I think, got stuck in the ruck there. That's a shame for Dunstan. Just one too many mistakes, and then cost them 50 metres. Throw to come in here. By Polo to throw. Off 
Finds Finds the target. target. Oh. Taken in by Caden Hoffman. Smoked on the tackle by Sam Chapman. He's dropped the pass there. Alex Wilson picks it back up though. Advantage here. Skip pass. Grab a kick in behind. Samuel Whitehower covering. He'll back come for the back. penalty. Back for the advantage. About 30 metres out. So what do we think here? Do we think Waisaki take the points? I think they will after that last strike. Yeah, a bit of scoreboard pressure. Yep, just keep it ticking up. Oh, they're going to go for the corner here. Interesting decision, but they back themselves. We'll see if it pays off. Terrace kicks well into the corner. Great kick there. About 15 metres out. Why pull to throw again? Full man line out here. Drive, do you reckon, Isaac? Yeah, I think so. I think we should see a drive here. Waitaki boys, quite a big full pack. Oh, goes over the back, though. Ball's there for Alex Wilson. Good, strong carry there from the from the prop. Inside ball to Lotu. Strong carry there. They're four metres out, Waitaki, hot on attack. Dunstan scrambling the They've space out numbers. wide. They've got numbers here. Trying to get outside on the Riley Ooh. Park. High and tackle, he does and so. he scores. Great try there. Hold up, we've got to blow the whistle here. They're just double checking this, I think. Yeah, don't, unsure what happened there. Looked fine by me. As the refs are communicating to the captain, Terrace. Tries awarded there. Alex Wilson to convert. It paid off, didn't it, going for the corner? Yeah, it did. They backed themselves and worked a treat in the end. It's good to see teams backing themselves nowadays. Alex Wilson, six metres off the right-hand touch. Looking to convert to stretch the lead. He's been good off the boot, actually. Don't think he's missed one yet. Might have missed one. Flags don't go up. Pushed it left, unfortunately. Waitaki boys still lead, 15 points to seven. Dunstan have 30 minutes left in this half to score some points. Samuel White's hold a kick off here. Goes short again, looking for a contest. Oh, and does so. Ball pops out for Waitaki boys still there. Short ball. Josh Smith tackles him well. Ball still Wilson. there. Caden Hoffman. Got numbers on this far, uh, far edge here. Good tackle there. Troy Sharman it was. Alex Wilson clears the ball here. Ball pops up, pops up on Dunson's side somehow. And the winger, Kobe Pope, takes it in and settles it down. Waitaki boys looking to cause a little bit of disturbance at ruck time. And from the side though. Across the field now, they've got numbers on that far edge, on that left edge. Riley Allen takes the ball into contact. Sam Whitehall with the ball. Gives it to Tom Michelle, we're straightening the defence. Sam Whitehall picks the ball up, gets on the outside. Pins his ears back. We chip kick into the middle of the field. Hasn't paid off though. Ref said advantage was over. 
Good tackle by Troy Sharman again. The halfback's looking to clear here. It does so. Goes to Xavier Liddell, who will look to counter-attack. Bit of a disjointed chase line. Tackled well, though, by the Waitaki fullback. Harrison Weir, that was. Into the hands of Samuel Waitawa. Cyrus Hutchinson takes it in. Not much support, though. Waitaki looking to get over the ball. Bit of disturbance at that ruck time. Waitaki boys putting some pressure on. Tough ball for Troy Sharman, who does well. Takes the ball in. Waitaki might have pinched this, however. Ball pops up on their side. Kobe Popo over that far edge looks like he's grabbing in his wrist there. Sam Waitaki breaks the first tackle. Breaks the next. Offloads. To Sam Chapman, who takes it into contact. Dunstan there to set up here and get into their phases. Dunstan, Dunstan, Dunstan have an advantage here. Jamie Hill with the carry. Troy Sharman, who's been busy on defence, carries upfield and makes five metres. They can go there. Ref calls the penalty. Time off here as well. He's given the whistle a double blow. Yes, that right winger for Dunstan, Kobe Pope, does look in trouble here. He's clutching his arm. Score remains 15 points to seven. Waisaki boys leading. As we see, Southland boys just walking out in the background there, as you may see. Well, the clash next. Isn't that going to be a big one? Yeah, what a cracker that will be. John McGlashan has been unbeaten throughout the season. But Southland boys will do everything they can to stop that momentum. Yeah, Southland boys have had a couple of good games in the last, in the last couple of weeks. Look sharp, beating OBs in the semi-final. So they'll be carrying some good momentum into this game. It's going to be a good one. Substitution here. Kobe Pope's going off. And coming on is... I think it's Tane Herbert Nico. Nico. In fact, it's Carson Pope. Unsure if they're related. Sam Waitau with the ball. Feeds Cyrus Hutchinson. Hits Thomas Shaw at the back door. Not a lot there for him though. Ryan O'Neill to clear from the back of the ruck. Finds Cyrus Hutchinson on the short side. Good footwork there by Cyrus Hutchinson. Solid defence though. Not many holes for Dunstan backs to go through. Yeah, Waitaki boys holding out well. Ryan O'Neill to hit Jamie Hill. Hits the back door out to Sam Waitawa. Big long pass. Good pass there from Samuel Waitawa. Bit of space on that far edge. Thomas Shell with the ball now. Gets hit hard. Great tackle there. Was that over the horizontal? Yeah, Waitaki boys have uh, had a couple of penalties here. It'll be interesting to see what the referee says here. Good bit of attack from Dunstan though. They're looking more threatening. Yeah, Waitaki boys under a bit of pressure here. Score remains. Waitaki 15, Dunstan 7. 43 minutes gone in the game. It's been a close battle. It's going to be an interesting call here. Referee looks like he might be reaching into his pocket here. Yeah, lots of Fafisa's being brought up. Sorry, that might not be Lotu there. He has been yellow carded though. And it is the number one. Olive Willie for the tip tackle. Yeah, horizontal tackle. Going over the horizontal there. Got to be careful. 
Scrum called by Dunstan. They're looking to bring on some bring some heat in the scrum here as the prop's just gone off. There will need to be a front row substitution for Waitaki as it was the prop who got yellow carded. It's going to be interesting to see who goes off here. So coming off here is the number six, Lockie Maver. Oh, sorry, Latrell Shelford. Bit unfortunate there. Good attacking opportunity here for Dunstan. As Waitaki are restricted of a flanker, so there should be space. Big scrum here by Waitaki boys, though. And they, they go, go blind. blind. Ryan O'Neill, plenty of space in front of him. Oh, no. Gives it eventually to the left winger, Riley Park. Has he scored that? And it's called held up. Oh, wow. What do you think there? Oh, I, I thought he should have given it. I think Ryan O'Neill needed to give that when the opportunity was there. He opted to go himself. Yeah, bit of white line fever there. Clever from Dunson, though, attacking the side with a blindside flanker just went off. Yeah, so the rule now is goal line dropout. Used to be a five metre scrum, but it's the goal line dropout. So it's a bit costly there for Dunson. So Terrace Beard's more to get us back underway. Get us back underway. Samuel Wise will take it in. Offloads to Xavier Liddell who threatens the line. Breaks a couple of tackles. They're about 30 metres out at Dunstan High School. Goes left to Riley Allen. Who gets thumped in a good tackle from Waitaki. Yeah, some good defence here by Waitaki. Xavier Liddell spots a half hole, gets through. Great covering tackle there. That Offloads to Cyrus Hutchinson. Ball pops up on Waitaki, but Ooh. not correctly. So that's another penalty to Dunstan High School, about 15 metres out. Yeah, Simone on that fire edge looked like he was gone. If that hadn't have been a penalty, would have been interesting. But White's up, but Dunstan, Dunstan High School will get the penalty. What's the call here? Scrum. They're going to go for another scrum here. So Dunstan not backing their line out, their line out drive here, they're backing their scrum. <whistles> Time's off here. Looks like a bit of cramp. Dunstan looking more enterprising on attack now. Few holes popping up around the wide tacky defence, especially with that yellow card. So this will be an interesting about seven minutes. Yeah, hundred percent. I talked about earlier how wide tacky boys have quite a big four pack. Looks like some of them are running out a bit of steam. So going to be interesting. Fifteen, fifteen minutes. Sorry, ten minutes into the second half. Time on. With Ryan O'Neill looking to feed the scrum. What do you reckon the same move, Isaac? Surely not. I think I think they're gonna get open side here. Cyrus Hutchinson's deep here though. Samuel Whitehall are flat. Balls in. Ryan O'Neill gives it to Sam Whitehall. Dummy cut, hit Xavier Liddell out the back. Who chops in, breaks a few tackles, gets to about 10 metres out off the line. Ryan O'Neill clears right after a bit of hesitation. Josh Smith catches the ball, carries it up. Solid defence from Waitaki. Looks like he's on the ground here. Ryan O'Neill gives it to Sam Waitaki. Plenty of space out this left edge. Gives it wide to Riley Park. Ooh, breaks the ball. first tackle. Still cutting in. He's about three metres out as Riley. Under advantage here as well. Doesn't have nothing to lose here. Ryan O'Neill. Distributes from the back again. And Josh Smith catches the ball. He's a bit isolated. Chance for Waitaki. Good clean out in the end. Ryan O'Neill again to Sammy Waitoa. No one on his inside gets thumped. Ooh, good tackle by the there. Waitaki Manaya. 
good tackle there. Come back for the advantage. Bit of pressure here. There's the double whistle. This will be interesting. Yeah, Waitaki boys have had quite a lot of penalties down this area of the field, so obviously need need some better discipline, I'd say. Yeah, I agree. It'll be a tough ask for them going down to 13 men, so they need to remain disciplined. Dunstan, however, hot on attack, looking good. Yeah, so it'll be interesting here see if um, Dunson backs his scrum once again or if they go for the points. So the referee has just had a chat to the captain of Waitaki, Terrace Beardsmore. You'd suggest they'd have another scrum, wouldn't you, Isaac? Yeah, I'd say so. As they do, scrum yeah. called. Yeah, only seven men in the scrum, they've got to take advantage of that. Midfield scrum, tricky to defend. Dunstan has split three on three, either side of the scrum, to force the defenders to make decisions. Ball comes in here, pops out. Thomas Shaw with the ball, wrapping around as David Liddell gets thumped. Antonio Villa, that was. Great tackle. Ryan O'Neill, bit of communication. Jamie Hill couldn't quite pick up the pass. Comes to the halfback here. Alex Wilson looking to clear. Box kicks. Not a bad kick, actually. It was quite far in field. That is a very good kick. Relieving pressure. Dunstan unable to convert again. Charlie Shaw with the throw in. Dunstan 40 metres out. Ball pops out on the Waitaki boys' side. Into the hands. The 13. Out to Tyree Manaya. Into the winger Antonio Vial. Bumps off the defender. Keeps the ball alive. And it's out. First oh, knock on though there. was from Dunstan. So Whitehack will remain in possession of the ball. Yeah, well, we've seen Dunson didn't get any points out of that, did we? When they were down in the 22 for a good five or ten minutes. I'd be disappointed about that. Scrum resets as the halfback Alex Wilson is awaiting to feed the Waitaki scrum, which is 43 metres out. The fullback's coming in to, to go into flanky here. Get a bit more firepower in the scrum. That means that the Dunstan defence does have an extra man. Yeah, only five people out in the back line there. Hands of Caden. Ooh, bit of confusion there. Well picked up though. He's carrying very strong offload. Stays in field. Sam Chapman wrestling for the ball and he stripped it. Good strength showing there. Ryan O'Neill with the ball. Box Still kicks from the back. There. Well fielded by Caden Hoffman though. Turning around. Bit of class there. Tackled well by Tom Michelle. Ball's picked up by Lotu. Driven back in a wee bit in the tackle there. Don't see that very often. The halfback's quite confused there. Looked Eventually, bit, uh, Dunson dragged down Terrace Beardsmore. Bit of pressure here from Dunson at ruck time. 
Scrappy ball for Waitaki on just on this side of halfway. Looking for the box kick here. A wee bit of a grubber kick in behind. Oh, great tackle there. Yeah. Thumped. That was by some money tongue for lap. Here comes the counter up. Ooh. Illegally though, Dunstan escape. Very lucky for them. Yeah, the number seven's down here for Waitaki boys. Lockie Maver. He's a key player in this Waitaki boys side. Be big, he'll be a big one to lose. Few boys off their feet, needing some water. It's been busy, it's been fast. Yes, Waitaki boys still lead 15 points to seven here. 52 minutes gone. Yeah, it looks like he's grabbing his hamstring there. Yeah, hopefully he is okay. Bit of a pause here. Jamie Hill for Dunstan has been replaced. Yeah, Lockie Maver there getting up. Looks like he's limping there. Hopefully he can carry on. And the halfback, Alex Smith, uh, Alex, Alex Wilson there, sorry, getting his wrist strap. Sammy Waita to clear from his own 22 off the penalty kick. Not a bad one either. Not much of an angle there. Just short of the, the halfway there. Dunson throw. Comes in there well won by uh, well won by Dunson. Not oh. straight. Yeah, I think that was the call by the, the AR, AR there. Tough one there for Charlie Shaw. It's going to be a scrum, Waitaki boys ball. Substitution for Jamie Hill, I believe, is Flynn Moffat. He'll be looking to make an impact at this scrum. Ball comes in here, Alex Wilson. Looks like, looking to go blind here. So, hey, good chop tackle there by Ryan O'Neill. Advantage here. Half that was taken out. Oh, he's found a wee bit of a hole here. The prop. Oh, Ooh. but he's got the intercept. Thomas Shell has got the intercept. And the referee's called advantage over. No one home. Ryan O'Neill. Yeah, no one's in the backfield. They haven't yet Troy seen that. Troy tackled. Penalty here for Dunstan. In the side, I think that was. A couple of crucial mistakes there. Kick into touch by Samuel Waitoa. About 30 metres out. Looking to get some points on the board here. Substitution to be made for Dunson. It's the hooker.
First throw for the new hooker is a good one. Josh Smith got the ball. Bit of a mess there. Ball knocked on by Dunstan. Waitaki boys carrying up the field. Strong carry there from the number 18. Kawasa. Ball comes out. Another oh, strong carry there. Tackled by Troy Sharman and Riley Allen. Looking for some quick ball here into the hands of Caden Hoffman. They have an Good overlap here. Lotu Fafita uses some footwork. Tyree Manaya to Antonio Vial, but he drops it. Oh, it's been called full pass there. Bit of space there for White Tacky Boys. Unable to convert, but the opportunity was there. Hamish Payne was the substitution for Charlie Shaw at, um, Charlie Shaw at hooker. So Ra no need to feed the ball in here. Looks like the boys get a good shove on here. Semi Waita for the week, chip kick. Thomas Shell is there, bounces favourable. He has the ball around. Oh, he's, he's away. Looking for the offload. No one's there. Ooh. Ball stripped, unfortunately, knocked it on into the hands of the dangerous right winger. Well, no one's home. Great kick there by the captain. He's found some cross, but it's a penalty. Offside was the call. Wow. That was a great kick there by Terrace Beardsmore. And Waitaki have been marched again. Another 10 metres for talking back to the referee. Yeah, that's the second time there. I think the referee's just had enough. With Waitaki back to 15 men, this will be an interesting decision. Shot called. Yeah, they needed some points. Brings them with, uh, with five... Fifty-seven minutes gone. Sammy Waito will look to reduce the lead to just five points. Straight out in front, twenty-five meters out. Fourth attempt of the day is a good one. Waitaki boys 15, Dunstan 10. I feel like the momentum has been definitely with Dunstan in the second half. Yeah, 100%. They've just had them on the back foot wee bit. Waitaki boys giving away quite a bit of penalties. So we do have a substitution here. Tyree Manaya going off for... Seth Thomas. Yeah, I believe that is Seth Thomas. Sorry, that is T. Mayhunter Williams. And he get there. 58 minutes gone. 10 to play. Sammy Waito with the ball, looking to clear out of his 22. Does so. Can't find touch though, so the ball's in Caden's hands. Big pass in field to Lotu. Harris looking to get around the outside of the defence there. Does so. Seth Thomas with the ball now. Taken down around halfway. Sam Chapman trying to get over the ball and be a real nuisance at breakdown time. Good carry there by the lock. Looking for quick ball here, the halfback. Hasn't got it though. Inside ball. Back to the nine. Alex Wilson. Skip pass. Inside ball here. Oh, Lotu Fafita is down in the midfield, clutching at his knee. That is not a good sign. Kawasa carrying strong for Waitaki. Wilson. 
Alex Wilson. Oh, he hits a wee snipe and tries to grab a kick. Hasn't worked off though. Xavier Liddell gives it off to Sam Chapman. Bit of space on this far edge here. Oh, knocked it back though. It's gone backwards. Mistake there from Sam Chapman. Lotu Fafita is still down in the midfield. Gets around the outside. Is he gone? He's reaching out. Simeone Tongi Valu, very close to the line there. Trying to get on the outside of this man. The ball's still there for Waitaki. Good pass there by. Oh, and he scored it. Oh, no. Oh, he's, he's knocked it on. He said he's knocked it on. Olive Willie just over the line. Waitaki boys needed that try. Lotu still down in the background. Hopping around on the 10 metre line. Looks in trouble here. Yeah, he's clutching at that right knee there. Trying to walk it off there. Unsure if the referee has seen it. Dunstan luckily escaped that. And Ryan O'Neill will feed the scrum five metres off their own line. Lots are coming into the back now. Scrum reset. Yeah, so this is interesting here actually. We've got four men on a blind side only working with about 15 metres I'd say. Yeah, interesting. All stacked in behind each other. Only two men on this open side. Scrum heat, a uh, scrum feed here for Ryan O'Neill. Does indeed go left to Thomas Shell. Dummies on his inside, but carries up. The gains five there. meters. Sammy Waitau sitting in the back of the pocket. Clears it. Not a great one. Simone, Simone takes it in. Bit of space on his far edge here. Seth Thomas with the ball now for Waitaki. He uses footwork to get around him, but doesn't. He tries to go over the top. Good tackle from Sammy Waitawa. Lotu Fafita looking to carry here. Halfback looking for some quick ball. As oh, a snipe. Good footwork there. Looking to offload. Oh, what an offload. And he scored it. Great try there by Waitaki boys. Brilliant try. It was in fact the captain, Terrace Beardsmore, who crashes over. Yeah, all set up there by Alex Wilson. And a few words exchanged at the try line. That was a huge moment, Isaac. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? All set up there by um, Alex Wilson. Had a wee snipe around the, around the fringes there and, and support was Terrace. And yeah, he got, the, he got the reward there. Brilliant try. Only seven minutes to play here. Dunstan definitely need to, need to be the next to score, don't they, Jack? Yes, definitely. I think Sammy Waitai will be very di um, disappointed with that clearing kick. Failing to go out, led Waitaki the opportunity to gain metres, which they did which led to a try in the end. Yeah, he was under a bit of pressure there, wasn't he? Alex Wilson, who got the try assist, will be looking to convert. He's 15 metres out off the touch line, 23 metres back. Yeah, good kick there by Alex Wilson, converts it. Pushes the lead out to 22-10. Waitaki boys lead. Only six minutes left for Dunstan. They need to work some magic here. Sammy White to kick off for Dunstan. They need the ball. Goes high. Sam Chapman chasing hard. So we're taking in. Alex Wilson takes the ball in here. Just outside their own 22, Waitaki. Caden Hoffman going in to get it. Good carry there again by the, the prop. Hasn't he been good today? In the back. Terrace to clearance. Goes down to Xavier Liddell. Good, good metres. Xavier with the ball in the 22, takes it outside, so that can't go out in the full. 
Oh, the hooker has dropped it there. Looking to get back and recover. Xavier chasing hard and yeah. does push him over the touch line. Good work from the young fullback from Dunstan. Dunstan need to create something here. They've only got about five minutes to work with. As the crowd below us is evolving. There was a good turnout today for this game. Yeah, 100%. And that under-15s game, wasn't that a... The under-16 Colts versus the under-15 Panthers, wasn't that a good game? Yeah, great watch. Here's Ryan O'Neill. Feeds it off to Waitower. That's Thomas Shell. Oh. Xavier Liddell on the short ball. No one outside him, so he has to dummy and go himself. Ryan O'Neill with the ball again. That's Josh Smith who carries. He's carried hard. Waitaki boys looking to hold him up here. Knees are on the ground now, so the release is the call. Sam Chapman with the ball. Get on the outside. Awesome skills. Good defense, though. Good Ryan O'Neill looks blind. Not much space there, but he does make a couple meters. Troy Sharman, who's been carrying hard all day, does so again. Waitaki boys looking to get the ball back here. Sammy White on the left, bit of space there, can't quite get the pass away, but the ball's gone backwards. It remains with Dunstan. Look on advantage there as well. Sammy White gives to Xavier Liddell, he's looked threatening. Oh, he's through the hole! He's, he's gonna, gonna go! White Tucky, I mean, Dunstan need to get back really quick though. We've got four minutes to work with. This is, an, this is gonna be interesting, isn't it, Jack? Very interesting. What a play by Xavier Liddell, who's been getting on the outside of his men all day. He deserves that one. This could be a good finish. Samuel White's over there looking up at the time, realising he hasn't got long. Dunson need to keep the ball now. Semi White Tower to kick. Yeah, he needs this conversion, doesn't he? This is an important one. Kicks away, oh. straight down the middle. Look at that. Ice in his veins right there. That brings the score. 22-17 with three minutes left. Dunson do need to score here though. They've got to keep the ball. Waitaki taking all the time in the world to get back to half halfway, which is understandable. Referee still has the time on here. Only about two minutes to play now. Beards more to kick. Goes long, only as far as Sam Chapman. It's fine, it's gone backwards here. Fumbles it. Troy Sharman, bit of space here. Yeah, it's opening up here on this, far, on this close swing Alan side. gives oh. it to Tom Michelle. Correctly opts to hold the ball. Seth Thomas Good comes across from Waitaki. Dunstan, about 40 metres out. Last opportunity. Gives it to Samuel Waitower. They're under advantage here as well. This is big for Dunstan. Ryan O'Neill gives to Sam Waitower. He goes for a wee chip kick himself. He's been blocked. Yeah, back for the penalty here. They need this ball quick. What do you think? Go to the corner here. I would suggest so. Yep. This is going to be big. We've got a man down here, actually. It's the captain. Terrace Beardsmore. It's got a wee bit of cramp, I think. It's Dunstan put the ball in the corner. Beautiful oh, kick. Beautiful kick there. Samuel Only Five metres out. Well, we set the foundation here, hasn't he? This is beautiful from Samuel Waitawa. Here we are. Dunson High School. 50 seconds left on the clock. One last opportunity to win this game. They're going to get the win over the Waitaki boys here. They need to score. This is big. It all starts from the hooker here. A he huge throw. throw for Hamish Payne. What do we 
think driving more here? Yeah, I think so. But then again, Waitaki does have a significantly bigger forward pack than them, so this will be interesting. Yeah, 100%. I wonder if they'll try to get it to their backs. Big moment here for Dunstan. Payne looking to throw. That's scrappy. Oh, no. It's, they've got another penalty. Oh, here we go. You would think they would go for the scrum here. Oh. Oh, I oh. thought he was going under the post for a penalty try there. It's a penalty. They've taken it quickly. Oh. oh. Not on the mark, though, says the ref. What do you think? Do you reckon they go for a quick tap here and no, risk it? I think they scrum it. Give the backs a real good shot. Yeah, 100%. Good call there, Jack. Line that time was a bit risky, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, but nevertheless, they have the ball. Five metres out, attacking scrum. Huge play. Ryan O'Neill to fair, feed. 22 points to 17 here. Time is up. Does this need is, to convert a try to win. This is going to be the last play of the match. Here's the feed from Ryan O'Neill. Oh, he's Chapman is out. Himself. And he's he's going on. He's Chapman has crashed over from the back and now all the pressure is on Samuel Waitoa. Wow. Wow, that is absolutely crazy, isn't it? The crowd is erupting beneath us. That is a huge moment for Dunstan. Wow, what a finish we have here. Samuel Waitoa. I'm not going to give him the commentator's curse, but the chances here. He slotted one. His last one was pretty much exactly from that spot, so this will be very interesting. He's got all the time in the world here. He's going to take his time. So that is the final play. Kick to come to win it. At Forsyth Bar, in front of a big crowd, can he do it? This kid has been insane all season. He's been one to look out for, and now the pressure's on him. As the crowd goes silent, Samuel Waita looks to secure the win for his school. This is a big kick. He's done it. He's Samuel Waitoa. He has oh, won the game. Samuel Waitoa, ice in his veins. Unbelievable stuff here at Forsyth Bar. Dunstan High School have come running onto the field. Celebrating the coaches just jumping. They've pinched it right at the end from Waitaki, who look devastated. They're all off their feet. They do. Dunstan did not stop. What a game finished by Samuel Waitoa but there was a lot of hard work done before him to get him in that position. Yeah 100% the dunks in number 8 wasn't he good scored that far, uh, that last try there. Wow. How clutch from Dunstan and Samuel. What a moment for the young man. That's a huge confidence booster for his rugby. Samuel Waitoa take a bow. Well, Waitaki boys will be devastated with that one. That looked very sharp in that first half, didn't they? It was a very even contest. That could have gone either way, literally. Fortunately for Dunson, though, they've won it. as they're shaking hands on a great game. The trophy will be presented to Josh Smith and Dunstan. Yeah, big game up next, isn't it? Huge game, kicking off at two o'clock. Don't leave us.
We've got South and Boys taking on the undefeated John McGlashan. Can't wait. Thanks to all who tuned into the live stream this afternoon. Hope you enjoyed it. It was a great game. Yeah, cheers, everyone.